All right, collectors, today on the channel, we are going to take a look at a little upgrade for uh, the G.I. Joe Vamp. I have no doubt that in the future, we're going to start seeing more of these little um, goodies that we can customize the Vamp with um, coming from all over, right? You, you know, you, you've, you've just recently got one from Gridiron, which I've already ordered, and I'll do a review here. And then this lesser known company, but still a pretty good company, Pixis Design. I'll put their logo up here and you guys can go check them out. He's got an Etsy store. Seems to be a great uh, a seller, a great person. Uh, Message me and let me know, you know, when it shipped out. And, um, you know, had great, great customer service. Um, so um, we're going to take a look at the, uh, at the uh, here, let me show you. It's a little set he sends you and I think it's 25 bucks. Number one, it's a set of Gullwing doors for a vehicle designed by a company known for putting Gullwing doors on its vehicles, Lamborghini. Lamborghini designed this thing, uh, the original version of this, uh, and wanting to sell it to the U.S. Um, but uh, <laughs> if you know anything about working, it, so here's the deal. Uh, for a foreign company to sell anything in the United States, there has to be some kind of, um, you know, you, you have to do, there's there's a, a bit of a political stance with that, right? Uh, you have to, you have a better shot, not you have to, but you have a better shot at being an American company with an American plant hiring American workers to produce an American made thing. Uh, that's because it's taxpayer money. And taxpayers uh, tend to want to have Americans working on American stuff first. Uh, anyways, that's just, you know, all that defense money is, politi you know, politicalized. Uh, and, you know, some of that you want to say, hey, well, we're building these vehicles in the United States. So anyways, that's enough of that. That's why probably Lamborghini didn't get that. Uh, but, you know, regardless, it's still a really nice looking vamp. Still a really nice looking vehicle. Let's get to it. So Pixis Designs put these together. They feel really good. You know, they, they do have that some of the striation that you see on some of these 3D printed, uh, you know, items. I'm okay with that. I don't have a, you know, I don't have a problem with that. Um, you know, I, I know some people don't like it. I'm not nitpicky about it. It's got a little bit of hair growth here on it. I mean, I'm just not that picky. You know, things in the field would get really dirty. When I was in the army, you weren't worried about, well, unless it was like a parade ground or something like that, then everything was dress right, dress, shiny, shiny, and, you know, 100% looking good. Uh, but otherwise, no. <laughs> things are going to get dirty. Things are going to get messy. Uh, and anyways, so here's here's the uh, door, and of course, it you don't have to remove the old crap handles. It looks like it fits right in between there. Uh, so there's a, a nice little door, uh, and then you have the other side of the door as well. Again, you've got some striations there, but it feels good. It feels like good, strong quality uh, plastic that he printed this out of. So I'm very excited about it. I like it. Yeah, there's the thickness of it there if you want to take a look at it. It's got some more hairs on it course that's from the extrusion of it i'm okay with all this i mean it's got some striation there again i'm fine with it uh and then it's got also a roof part so there you go now i wanted to do this uh oh look at this it's got a little bit of a it's a little rough on the back here but i think this is hidden from view so it doesn't bother me at all either so that's that's fine as well uh and we're gonna we're gonna install this real quick and see how it goes I can't wait for the roll cage from Gridiron as well. But the reason I ordered this is, uh, you know, to me, this seems like kind of an up armored version of the vamp, right? We're gonna have some armored doors on it. Uh, there are situations where it's fine to roll around like this, um, but, you know, usually in combat, uh, <laughs> I get it, it's G.I. Joe, it's fantasy, I get it. But um, even as a kid, I always wondered, you know, like Sergeant Slaughter's triple T tank or whatever the heck that thing was. Uh, why is Sergeant Slaughter rolling onto a live battlefield where he's sitting in the very front of the vehicle with no protection and they're shooting at him and he's shooting at other people? It doesn't take much of a brain to just go for the dude driving it <laughs> that has no protection. Um, so in my mind, 
again, this was me as a kid. I was thinking this. Uh, and so that's why a lot of times I didn't buy some of the vehicles. Like the one that I had a real problem with as well was the Armadillo. Uh, I wanted to see her head further into the vehicle, right? Or her whole body. I think it was the Armadillo. Was it? Or was it the Wolverine? I don't know. It was one, whatever vehicle had the uh, soldier exposed, I didn't like. So anyways. Back to this. I'm on a tangent, guys. You know me. I like to go on a tangent sometimes. Uh, we're going to install this. It looked to be a pretty simple install. Let's take clutch out of here uh, real quick. Um, come on, man. Just get out of there. We'll set him to the side over here on this side. Here, why don't you stand over here next to the poster of Cold Slither. I'm going to get a t-shirt with that on there. I like that. All right. So let's go ahead and install. Apparently you don't have to take these off and you don't have to take this off. So you lose none of the look uh, of the vehicle. So, and also I wanted to do the review, uh, you know, I, because I want to see how easy it is, right? I want to give you a, a, you know, like I said, I'm not bought and paid for by anybody. I'll always give you a, you know, a straight review. So if the, if the thing sucks, I'm going to tell you the thing sucks. <laughs> if the thing is good, I'm going to tell you the thing is good. And you know me, I'm an equal opportunity uh, a criticizer. I will, I will offer criticism constructively. You know, maybe if maybe they're listening, maybe they're not. I don't care. But for those of you that listen to me, I'm gonna you know tell you what I think of it. All right. So it's got a little C clamp there, just a little clamp that looks like you know that. Uh, so we're gonna just see if it if we can just clip that on. How easy that is. How much pressure we have to put on it. Let's see if we can kind of match that up because it fits right in between there. Push that over. Look, I guess you kind of kind of got to eyeball it, right? You know what? It might be better if I pop this off first. Let me drop this down, pop the poop handles off, try not to guess on it, and then just kind of do it to where it feels right. So let's see. Does that look right right there? Let's push it in. Oh, it takes a little bit of strength there. Oh, oh there we go. There it is. Uh, it took a little bit of took a little bit of juice to get it in there. Let's push it back a little. But look at that. Matches right. It's a little warpy. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can fix that a little. Scoot it up a bit at all, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Let me push this up a little bit. Maybe that's what it is. Let's see. No, it's worse. Hold on. Hold on now. It's not bad. It just keeps popping out a little bit. I mean, I don't mind it, but I kind of mind it. I'm going to push that back a tiny bit some more. Um, let me show y'all. So you see this? I guess you guys are see that how it kind of pops out a little bit. I wish they fit really tight in there. I guess what we could do is we could take a magnet, put it right here and drill it right into here. If it really bothered me that much. And it kind of does stay through, <laughs> but I don't know if I want to put that much work into it. I really don't. So hold on. Let me scoot this up just a tad some more. I mean, I'm and that's fine. Whatever. It, it works. Let's put this in here like that. Look at that. There's this little handle there. Indeed, it fits around it. it stays up, goes down. It's not bad. I mean, it's a homemade, you know, um, homebrew type of deal. I was hoping that there was a, you know, maybe there was a click there or something that it would kind of force it to stay in, but there's really not, there's really not really a click or anything there. It's more of like just trying to get it in there, you know, just right. You know, I mean, that's as close as I'm going to get it. I think uh, it's pretty simple to install. Now you're just kind of eyeballing it, right? Where about it goes. All right. Well, that's good enough. It ain't going to get any better. Well, right, let's flip it over to the other side. Uh, you know, I guess you could keep adjusting it to get rid of those creases or whatever. You could even maybe even put some sticky tack down there to keep it from popping up. Uh, maybe you could heat it up. Maybe I could heat the, this plastic up a little bit and push it down. I mean, there's a lot of solutions for it. 
again, I have some t more tolerance for homebrew stuff uh, to um, to give me, you know, to give me what I want or to give me some options that I do for like mass produced stuff from Hasbro because Hasbro has a lot more resources. Uh, this gentleman is one guy in a garage doing the best he can with the materials he has. And he's able to produce something, you know, pretty good. Let's see. Let's push. Again, let me take this out because I don't want to be trying to. Is it's, look at that. This is kind of annoying. You see that? This is stress marks already on the crap handles. That's annoying, Hasbro. One point off. I, I don't really care for the handles because he could just grab the roll cage, really. But whatever. It's annoying. Why do you have stretch marks already on there? Push that back a tiny bit. I mean, this one pops out a little too, but not as, I don't know, about the same. So I'm over here complaining about nothing really. Push this back a little more. A little more. I think it's all the way, look, cause it's touching there, so. All right, let me put this back on here. go pop it in there come on watch this thing break it's really despised it has stress cracks in it already it's not okay y'all all right and for this piece i would have loved i don't know how feasible this got some more hair here um i don't know how feasible it would have been for him to be having another little piece that slid across the bottom there right to cover that up That'd have been really cool, but it's okay. Regardless, still pretty cool. I think this piece goes in like, sits on top of it or goes to the, we'll, we'll figure it out. Let's see. Let's see. I go under it, over it, to the side of it. All right, so let me try something. Um, let's try this again. It's got these little notches here. You see that? And I, I, I think this fits underneath there. So I've got to find a way to kind of smoothly put that in there. It's going to fight me a little bit, I guess. I just don't want to, you know, break anything, right? So um, let's see. Let's see if we can. Oh, you know what? Okay. Um, I see what's happening here. should be able to do it. It's just, all right, so there's that one. Let me push that over and then let's do this side. Let's push this in here. There's that. It's It requires a little bit of force. I'm putting a little bit of force into it. I mean, let's see. It's a good thing I ordered three of these. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, hold on. Almost got it done. Dropped off. One of these things popped off. All right, hold on. There it goes. All right. Is that it? Did we get it? Oh, it's okay. So, actually, all right. If you put all of them on, this piece here... So this piece here, let me see if I can show you. These little parts right here will actually direct you as to whereabouts this metal piece is. So it'll kind of uh, force it to be in the right spot or near the right spot. So you can't move it around too much. So will this, this side as well. So um, yeah, let's see, I don't wanna break that. Push that in there. Anyways, uh, there you go. So, interestingly enough, it's installed. Let's see the back. There's that. 
I was thinking that this would actually sit flush to this, but it doesn't. You can, you can uh, see the back of that. See that? I was thinking it would s sit flush to this, but it doesn't. I mean, it kind of makes sense. So, you know, you could, you know, give it a little bit more rise there. Let me see this. Does that close? Yeah, that closes fine. All right. Come here, you. Works, closes. I wish it would, gosh, I mean, I get it. He didn't, I mean, no, the Joe team didn't design it uh, for, for this to be clear. I'm sure they will. So here's the deal. For those of you who don't want to wait for a stinger, you, you literally have gotten this far with it. Now, when Gridiron releases the, um, the uh, piece or the roll cage adapter for back here for the stinger, or for the uh, roll cage, when that comes in, at that point, you will literally have, all I have to do then is paint this black and it's a Cobra Stinger because he's gonna put some missiles on it. It's, I have a missile set. Uh, and at that point, you can just kind of call this done and it's a Cobra Stinger. Now I have a, a two vamps and a Stinger for Cobra or for, you know, two for Joe and one for Cobra. But anyways, I'm probably not gonna make it a Stinger. Um, I think for right now, uh, I'll wait. I have a couple of Cobra Hisses, and those are good enough to be in Cobra's arsenal. And there's also the Cobra Venom Tracker custom-made vehicle that I created. Check out the video, that I, you know, right there. But uh, anyways, um, do I like it? I do like it. Do I have some complaints? I mean, not, I mean, it's nitpicky, but I don't like that it doesn't sit completely flush, right? Like, like that. Now, again, you know, what, what can alleviate that? You know, some simple sticky tack will probably keep it in place there. Uh, you could put a magnet here and a magnet in here and that'll hold it in place. It'll just, you know what? I might even do that anyways. Just uh, uh, probably put a piece of metal here in a magnet right there and then just click, close it right there. Or the, I don't know, whichever, where, wherever I put the magnet, that's where I'm gonna do it. Uh, again, I'm glad I bought two, <laughs> two vamps because one of them I might end up completely goofing up. Or literally, you could just leave it like this. I mean, so <laughs> another quick story. Uh, military vehicles, uh, I, the, the, the up-armored ones would close a lot better, but they still were kind of unwieldy. But the ones that we drove around garrison or on, on post... Uh, you know, they were literally some flimsy latch handles that would close and they would just move like this. <laughs> I mean, there was no, <laughs> I mean, so this, I mean, but I want to make it to an up armored. Anyways, you get the point. Um, it's not that bad. That'd be my only complaint. This was rather simple to put together. I have fun putting it together. Oh, uh, where's clutch? Let's get clutch in there. What do you say? Let's sit him in there. I should have left him in the position he was in because now I'm going to have to guess again to get him in there. He's not that great to get in there too. My, my freaking little, my Humvee does a better job. It wasn't even designed for Joe's. That's the one, I like putting him in from up here. Now I'm going to have to put him in from the side here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him in there. This is going to be a little bit of a fight again. Do we take the gold wings off to get him in there? Or do we just leave them on? It's a little bit of a fight to get them in there. But not impossible. Push them down a bit. All right, there he goes. Close it up. Let's, can we shine a light in there? <laughs> Here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, anyways. There he is. Gosh, it's just a little annoying. If we could have done something about that, that'd have been fantastic, but it's okay. I don't mind it too much here. Maybe easier to tilt it a little bit. That's the tolerance I'd stay. I'd rather it be flat like that, but I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna stop. If I wanna fix it, I could just, like I said, I could put a piece of metal there and, um, and uh, drill a magnet into the other side and it'll be fine. So there's this side right there. Oh, this one does stick out quite a bit. 
I'm definitely going to have to put a magnet or a piece of gummy tape or something there. It's not, it's going to bother me now, y'all. So, but overall, I think it's a good product. It fits, of course, with its, the, the door thing is a little bit of a problem, but here's the roof. The roof looks fine though. Here's the roof. Looks good. The roof is pretty simple to put on. Well, not really. I had to fight with that a little. But, oh, and like I said, for 25 bucks, it's not bad. Um, it's a custom piece. I dig it. Anyways, guys, hey, if I've uh, amused you, if I inspired you, if you've enjoyed the review, I tried to be as honest and open and, and completely transparent as possible. I never got these sent to me at all. Uh, you know, I bought them with my own money uh, and I was going to give you an honest review of them. I think that's the only problem right there, right? They're a little bit bouncy there, but I mean, if, if you're okay with that, then I'm then you're fine with it. So uh, overall, the design, all this looks great. Um, and, you know, it was pretty simple to put on. It's one of those snap-on customizations. Looks good. Looks good. So guys, thanks for watching. If you've gotten this far in the video, go ahead and, you know, maybe throw me a like and a subscribe. I uh, appreciate every single one of you. Uh, I'll probably post up a review. We'll be doing quite a bit of reviews for the GI Joe stuff. Uh, and um, I'll post up a midweek hunt here in the next uh, tomorrow. I'll just post up a hunt and uh, we'll go from there, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. If I've, if I've amused, if I've entertained you, uh, if I've informed you, then I, you know, I'd appreciate a like. Thanks, guys. And as always, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling these out.